Silala student is in blue and his opponent's a standard kickboxer in red. So the student starts out with a little bit more of a bladed stance. Look at that. Lower stance, right? Little punch kick combo. Reminiscent of Kung Fu. Kickboxing opponent in red. Ooh, nice. Um, covers up. Look at the circling of his hands. So Chilala does, that was a great combo. Look at this. So one of the things that Chilala really emphasizes besides maybe a slightly different force generation than standard boxing or kickboxing is also a defense. Look at that little almost shield created by the two hands. Think like a circle, like a shield. That's sort of what he's trying to do. Again, I could be wrong, but so look at that. You see that? He's creating almost a shield of impenetrable straight and maybe even hook punches and kicks we'll see but oh great interception right there by the kung fu student so chilala's style as you guys know is mostly wing chun and then xin yi liu he so he's got two kung fu styles combined and he seems to combine it well dude this student's doing awesome Ooh, he shouldn't have had his hand too far away from his face when he threw a light kick yeah see look at that his right hand's getting a little closer to his face now so Ooh, nice, nice. Great little hook on the exit. Nice punch. So, one thing that you notice whenever any traditional style is successful, they're just able to scrap, right? You can't be afraid to scrap. That being said, though, he is eating some shots that he doesn't need to eat. And inevitably, you're going to get hit, but you have to be hit strategically. Like, if you get leg kick once, you hit him three times in the head, that's probably good, right? If he punches you once in the head, but you hit him four times in the body, that's probably good. So you just have to be very, very strategic about how you exchange. It's a fight after all. Being completely not hittable like Steven Seagal in his movies is fantasy. So first round definitely goes to Kung Fu Guy, aka Blue. Although I will say, look at Chilala right there, giving him some corner advice. We can actually translate this. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. He might not say anything, but... He's telling him to relax. Just He's just saying, relax even more. So, he's saying, first round, you're still not used to it. It's his debut, basically. So, yeah, of course. He's giving him some kind of tactics about how to counter kicks and how to hear his cornering advice. I can't really understand it too much but we'll have to break it down later if you guys really want to hear anyways let me know guys if you like this where i sort of translate corner advice never tried that before but the taiwanese accent is notoriously very funny and i'm not saying that in a bad way it's just very different than standard mandarin okay look at that he's trying to relax like Sila said oh good leg kick to to um punches and then another body kick yeah, he's doing very well, man. He's doing very well. He just, the one tip I would give him is his little shield thing that Shilala learned from, I don't know if it's Wing Chun or Xin Liu Hucha. Ouch, she just got jab crossed. But if he's, when he's kicking, at least can put the right hand closer to his temple, to his cheeks, that would make this kind of little shield double relaxed, kind of like Kung Fu guard a little better. So... So, Silala's telling him, like, don't muscle it, trying to generate the force from another kind of way, right? Usually, Silala's big on using his fascia. So, force apparently comes from the fascia. It's not just from the muscles. It comes from the fascia. Anyways. So, ooh, attempted a head movement there by Kung Fu Guy. Now, he almost looks a little drunk. The one thing I will say about this type of bladed guard with the kind of Kung Fu shield is that... Sometimes you could get knocked off balance in an orthogonal direction. That's the one thing I'm not a fan of because orthogonal would be kind of going to his left and his right, right? So I think if he's not careful, he'll get knocked off balance in an orthogonal direction. I believe that's the, how orthogonal is used. Again, I was studying chess yesterday, so the word orthogonal kept me in use. That's why I'm using the word orthogonal. But good punch combo. So... I will say, Kung Fu Guy's winning this round again. The only issue, again, is that because his face is a little bit too open to my liking, if Kickboxer times right like that, right, Kung Fu Guy might get hurt, man. So, oh, Kung Fu Guy's also 
somehow gassing himself out. That comes with the adrenaline dump of your first fight. Wow. Dude, Chilala's taught him very well, man. Look at this. Dude, kickboxer's starting to get gassed, too. You can see by the quality of his hits, too. So, definitely, Kinfugai won the second round, too. Shall we listen to the cornering again? Let's see what Chilala says. Give him some water. Um, oh, he doesn't say it. Okay. He's like, find a tactic. Breathe. So, he's saying the guy's going to really charge into you. So, you have to move, evade. So, he's like, worst comes to worst, you hug him. One minute later, then you start really attacking. So, Chilala's like, the guy only knows how to move linearly. The guy doesn't know how to circle. So, okay, alright. Um, again, I didn't. I probably only traced about 60% of it, but you guys get it. Chilala's expecting because this kickboxer's going to get desperate. Kickboxer's going to really try to blitz in linearly and try to scrap. So, Chilala's telling him, don't get in those scrapping matches with him. So, and then Chilala, again, emphasizing, breathe. Emphasizing breathe. So, this is awesome. Oh, yeah, see, the guy's charging in. Exactly, the guy's charging in. You gotta evade. There you go. Oof. You gotta evade. So, there we go. Yeah, exactly. Be strategic with how you hit. Good, good. Notice that the Kung Fu guy is trying to circle a little bit, right? Which is good. Knowing that they're both orthodox, circling to his left side, aka opponent's right side, isn't too bad right so that's good he's circling to the correct side i mean there's no correct side but if you had to circle circle to the left side if it's against or like your left side if it's against the orthodox um let's see there you go just lots of good circling good good so oh one two so now now Chilala's telling him to kind of engage now. Ooh, he's a little tired, but good combos. Good. He's like, tell him to hit him. Hit him. Tell him to hit him. Good. Tell him to just blitz him. Oh, he got him. He got him. He got him. TKO. That's... Okay, it's a standing count. Dude, he got him. He got him. He's telling him, go to the corner. Oh, my goodness, bro. By the way, that's the Shaolin Kung Fu guy. The guy with the hair. That's The, the ref is the Shaolin Kung Fu guy. He's telling him, keep going. Light kick to punch this to the face. Side kick. He got him again. He got him again. Ooh. He got him in the liver. He's hurt. Get him. Get him. He's got him. Oh, he got him. He got him. Might need another standing count soon for our kickboxer. Um, Kung Fu guy telegraphs his light kicks a little bit, but it's fine. It's not like, oh, he got him. He got him again. He got him again. Ooh. Good call by ref. Good call by ref. They... They also, uh, the corner threw in the towel. That was great. That was great. Wow, Chilala is doing a good job coaching, man. That was awesome. Guys, that was beyond awesome. Look at that. Congrats to Chilala student, man. That was awesome. Woo! Guys, if you like what you saw, make sure to press the like and leave a comment. Let me know this. If you could combine two Kung Fu styles, which two Kung Fu styles would you combine? So for those of you who don't know any Kung Fu styles, just do a little research. Look at the descriptions of the Kung Fu styles and let me know. If you could combine two Kung Fu styles, which styles would you combine? Now, Chilala and his student, they do Wing Chun and Xin Yi Liu Hu So that's their combination. But if you think you can have a better combination, I think I have my personal biases. I am going to leave in the pinned comments what my answer to this is. Make sure to press a like, share, and leave your comment. Anything else besides the prompt I gave you guys. Thank you guys so much. We will talk soon. And by the way, if the algorithm's on my side and you're not subscribed and you found this video, that's awesome. Make sure to press subscribe and we will talk soon. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much, Fight Fam.